Hey guys, um, I want to show you this technique with kick drum. Um, I'm actually using a synthesizer to generate some low frequency information that you can add back into your original sound. But I'm, I've got a little, you know, a couple of interesting tidbits on how to make it unique. I'm going to start out by showing you the old tried and true uh, parallel compression chain including a pull tech. I'm going to blaze through this because we've shown it so many times, but a few of you guys always keep asking me. So here's my original kick drum. Oh, by the way, this is the artist Peaches. This, this record just got through master, being mastered by the amazing Emily Lazar and produced by the equally amazing Vice Cooler and Peaches. So check out, you know, keep an eye out for it. It's going to come out soon. And let me remind you, it is, uh, it's not a PG record. Just, you need to know that. So here's the original kick drum. Um, now, what I did was um, I tried to emulate uh, a DBX-160X. So these settings here, check them out because they're probably about, about the same as that, uh, as close as I could get it. And, and the amount I'm taking off is very important because the original DBX is threshold dependent. So start here, and then I'm feeding that into a pull tech. Okay, guys, so let me show you now. I'm going to add the emulation of the 160X, the DBX, XT actually, and uh, the pull tech. So, so I've shown you these. Let's, let's ease some of it back in until we get what we like. with it, without it. I'm looking at my meter. We're, 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 almost, we're almost unity gain with and without it. It's a tiny bit louder. Now, that, that works pretty good, and I like that. But let me show you something else. This little bad boy here is called Littlefoot. It's made by Boz Digital Labs, BDL. Little foot. Now this thing is a synthesizer. Now I'm I'm going to parallel into it just like I did the compressor and the pull tech, and and the reason I parallel into it is because I want a little more control as opposed to just putting it on the original. Now we could put it on the original and blend it, and that's what this is designed to do. I just prefer to do it like this, and you'll see why in a second. So check this out. The, this song is in. Um, is in uh, C sharp minor, so I'm 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 going to use a C sharp note. Now I've got a little program that I that I use called Music Math. Uh, Brian Peterson is going to going to pop this up on the screen. Now Music Math lets me it lets me convert a note to frequency. So uh, C sharp one is 34.65 hertz. So let's type in some of those numbers here. The, um, the first frequency for uh, C sharp would be 34.65. 34.65. Now, now watch. I'm gonna mute the original. So all we're hearing is, is this guy. That's pretty low. You're gonna to have to have some, some nice subs to hear it. So, so let's go an octave higher. The octave above that would be 69.30. Okay, now we can hear that. So here's my frequency. Here's my level for just the synthesizer part. Now here's my sustain. So let's put it in time. Now let's add, let's add that back in. Let's start with this at zero. And let's get our original kick. Now let's add a little bit back in. It, 
this is America, man. If a little's good, more is better, right? Now, watch, watch what I do here. I'm gonna take and chop off a little tiny bit of the low frequencies, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit more attack. changing the envelope on the attack. Take it out. Now I'm exaggerating just to show you what can be done. Um, check this out, man, because it allows you to really do some things that you just can't do any other way. These frequencies are being synthesized off of your original sound. And so the fact that they're being synthesized allows you to do so many things. And because you can automate this, you could do, uh, like say you've got a key change or that, 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 that leaves you with an awkward frequency. Well, you can, you can have presets, you can change the presets whenever you need to, and, and, excuse me, and create some really cool stuff. Check it out, check out everything these guys make. I've, I've shown you a couple of other things they make in the past, and I'm, I just really love them. And by the way, they make a, they make a a, pro, a version of this called Sasquatch that gives you even more control. You've got gating, you've got attack and release controls. You've got a lot of stuff on this, on, on the big one. But I, I find myself using this a lot. So um, there's, there's a lot of options like this. This, is, this currently is my favorite. Um, I'm about to check a couple of new ones out, particularly the one by Softube. So, so anyway, this is some cool stuff. Check it out. Bye.